At the age of 25, Zhu Yuanzhang joined the Red Scarf Army led by Guo Zixin to revolt against the rule of Yuan Dynasty. Because of his bravery and resourcefulness, he soon became Guo's confidant. But there were fierce fights for power among the Red Scarf leaders. Zhu felt disappointed and decided to go back to his hometown to recruit helpers. He recruited over 700 soldiers, among whom were later well-known generals like Xu Da, Zhou Dexing, and Guo Yin. Zhu Yuanzhang led his army back to Haozhou and rejoined the Red Scarf Army. After continuous battles, his army became larger and larger. In 1355, when Zhu Yuanzhang was 28, the Red Scarf Army leader Guo Zixin died of illness. Since then, Zhu became the de facto leader of the Red Scarf Army. In the following year, when the Yuan army got into fierce battles with other rebel armies, Zhu seized the opportunity and concentrated his superior forces to attack Jiqing, Yuan's most important city in the south. In less than 10 days, his army conquered the city and renamed it Yin Tianfu, making it his headquarter. In Chinese, Yin Tian means follow God's will, that is, Zhu Yuanzhang was supported by God. Later, Zhu made Yin Tianfu the capital of Ming Dynasty. At that time, Zhu Yuanzhang already had 100,000 soldiers, and his strength was comparable to the other two main rebel forces led by Zhang Shicheng and Xu Shaohui respectively. He was finally capable of fighting against the Yuan Dynasty and vying for the throne. Although Zhu Yuanzhang's strength had been growing rapidly, he was by no means a certain winner. He followed the advice of his aide, Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng was a well-known scholar who once worked as an official for Yuan Dynasty. Then he resigned and lived in seclusion in the countryside. Zhu Yuanzhang paid a visit to his home and asked for his advice on how to unify the country. Zhu Sheng said he should tighten fortifications, increase store of provision, and delay coronation. Heightened fortification means building up high city walls, which was to improve defense and consolidate the rear area. Increased store of provision means developing economy, promoting agriculture, and storing enough food. Zhu Yuanzhang was fully aware of the importance of food supply. He cared a lot about local agricultural production wherever he went. He would encourage farmers to grow crops to ensure food supply for his army. Delay coronation means not to claim to be emperor prematurely. His name to be an emperor would make Zhu Yuanzhang a target for all forces. Zhu Yuanzhang followed this advice and put it into practice. After he conquered Jiqing, he didn't claim to be an emperor like other rebel leaders. Instead, he expanded his strength quietly. It's fair to say Zhu Sheng made indispensable contribution towards Zhu Yuanzhang's establishment of Ming Dynasty. After sufficient preparation, Zhu Yuanzhang began to unify China. One of his aides, Liu Bowen, told him that the army led by Chen Youliang was the most dangerous among all the rebel armies, and if he wanted to reunify the whole country, the first step should be to destroy Chen's army. Zhu Yuanzhang followed his advice and set up a trap. When Chen Youliang was lured into the ambush, Zhu Yuanzhang launched a sudden raid. Chen's army was defeated. Later, Chen launched a counterattack on Zhu. The two armies began a life-and-death confrontation near Poyang Lake in central China. The war lasted for 36 days and ended in a victory for Zhu's army. Chen Youliang was struck to death by arrows. Now that Zhu Yuanzhang had superior strength, he no longer needed to depend on the Da Song regime established by the Red Scarf Army. When Han Liar, Da Song regime's leader, was on his way back to Yin Tianfu, Zhu ordered his men to turn over the boat and Han was drawn to death. There was another saying that it was actually an accident. Da Song regime collapsed following this incident. After Chen Youliang's death, the next target for Zhu Yuanzhang was Zhang Shicheng, leader of another important rebel army. Zhu led his army to attack Zhang, and Zhang led his force to Suzhou to avoid the attack. Zhu's army surrounded Suzhou, during which Zhang tried to break out several times but failed in all his attempts. Zhang's food supply soon ran out. His troops and citizens in Suzhou had to eat rats, barks, and grass roots. During this period, Zhu Yuanzhang persuaded Zhang Shicheng to surrender repeatedly, but Zhang never gave up. At last, Zhu's army conquered Suzhou and Zhang Shicheng was captured. Zhang was not at all afraid, but repeatedly insulted Zhu Yuanzhang, so he was put to death by Zhu. Till now, Zhu Yuanzhang had control over most of central and southeast China. He studied and assessed the situation, appointed Xu Da as commander-in-chief, Chang Yuchun as vice-chief, and started a large-scale northern expedition. 
its army triumphed all the way to the north, and in 1368, Da Du, the capital of Yuan Dynasty, was conquered. Yuan's emperor, empress, and the crown prince all ran away in a hurry. Yuan Dynasty ended after 98 years of rule over China. Before that, Zhu Yuanzhang had declared himself emperor. In early 1368, Zhu ascended the throne, announcing Yin Tianfu as the capital, thus establishing Ming Dynasty. After that, the Ming army conquered the southwest area and destroyed the remaining forces of Yuan Dynasty in northeast China. The country was at last reunified.